And that's when we knew it was going to be dope. <laughs> I often listen, can't play the whole trailer, but this is um, the. What was that? Uh, that was. This is the exorcism of God. This movie. I don't want to say it was hard to watch. But it definitely had a lot going on. It, it, it was a lot going on. I'll, 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 I'll take it off to you. What what did you... You're eating me in the middle. What did you think? I think for it to be a... Um, for it to be not in the movie theater... Mm -hmm. Looks like it's a Netflix-esque type of movie. Right. Very well done. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was a little hard to watch. It's definitely for the mature. Sorry, guys. We were getting phone calls out in the streets. My apologies. It definitely is for a mature adult to yeah. watch. That's secure in his faith. Yes. That's for sure. The it's just one of those movies that it, it's in the arsenal. Like <laughs> I would, I, I would have to watch it again to see what you missed. To see what I missed, I got the gist of it. But this was a serious movie. There was a lot of innuendos, a lot of what is it like little breadcrumbs. There was a lot of things that gave a different perspective on different perspective on you know Religion. what we should know what we understand of it and mm -hmm. what the sacrifice is how the sacrifice can uh, be you know, a good thing a bad thing there was a lot of things to think about as far as the writing and what this movie stood for of course it's a scary movie you guys know we love horror movies but this was something that it surpassed the horror portion. Mm -hmm. So like we were getting scared, but then we were getting into it. This was like, uh oh wait, there's a message being told here. Yeah, and it was it was it was definitely it was getting it was Mitch who you think is the good guy. Yeah. Is 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 actually the agent of the bad stuff. So that's that's really what we what we we came to grips with like, oh, that, I see what they're trying to do. The yeah. people you think is supposed to be, you know, having your back could be in cahoots. Yeah, because it what it did show was what you may think it is may not always be. And hmm. so if we had to dive into it, one portion opened up and I had to pause the movie was the natural relationship that builds between a priest and a nun. Yeah, that was a rough part. You know, and do we go against biology and science as far as two people that emotionally, you know, mm -hmm. get into each get other. into each other, and you know, we're put on this earth to reproduce and procreate. That is a that is it's not up for discussion. It is something that we have to do. It is where religion and science collide. Collide. And so the thing that stuck out to me was why do we not have it where if a priest and a nun met each other in an environment, let's just say, let's take the religion out. Right. In any other environment, whether it's work, you meet someone in the library, you meet someone at your favorite cafe you know it's just an environment two people have the same ideals they go to the same place they share the same respect of something right and in any other environment outside of religion it's a beautiful love story to tell your grandkids 
Mm -hmm. But in this retrospect, no, right? Because the discipline is you have to be free from sin. Mm -hmm. But are you free from sin or are you free from what naturally occurs in all humans who are born with sin? And how do you expel that? How do you separate it? How do you, I have a, a more profound respect for priests and nuns. I will say that. Like at right. first I thought this was one of those scary movies where like the exorcists that we've seen in the seventies and eighties. No, this digs deep. This digs into these people are human too, you know, and to regard, he said a line in there that said, you don't have to no longer think that God is beside you. You have to start thinking that you are God. And that's when I said, whoa. Yeah, to, to, to be the, the main antagonist. Yeah. But the thing, the thing that made, that was the most crazy to me was when the Cardinal came up to him. Yeah. So and, that means and, this and he recognized them. And then he, he called them an endearing name. Because you know what's funny? When you're in cahoots, right? You have to give a tell. Mm. You have to give some type of recognition of understanding. So the fact that he, this person that has been in the presence of the Vatican and other places, stuff like that, he is a high ranking in person. The Vatican. Yeah, in the Vatican. And then and then he recognized the protagonist. Yeah, protagonist as, like right off jump. Like he, he looked at him as, oh, I'm your subordinate. Yeah. And then at the end when... um then when old girl touched his hand, that's why you're like, why is that so aggressive? Yeah, because he, because she's, it's almost like they switch sides. Right. And so she recognized, because you know, what I like is like, it's a time and place for everything. So I like the fact that A just like start like, huh, dude, okay? like yeah. more combat music didn't start, yeah. but it was more so like, I'm going to get you back and right. we're going to have this, you know, how they explain to us. It's, it's a must watch. It's a must watch. We're speaking in a, such you're a. You're thinking, like, why would she grab his hand? She don't know him. Yeah, but so she does. She, yeah, now she, she, she knows, oh, oh, you're the dickens. Yeah. So I'm going to go up to you and let you know that yeah. you know, I'm out in the streets now. And, yeah. And stuff is real. And that's yeah. why he was like, whoa. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. got that. I yeah. got the juju. Because he said Heaven had made his own plans, too. So yeah. they had contingency. So don't think that you won. So now it makes it seem like, does, does that mean. Does that mean in certain settings, right, that we already know how to react to things? It, how can I put it like when you're up against like a decision that's going to kill you? Mm -hmm. You know, do you do you know without knowing? how to survive an encounter or do like that's what had me start thinking of things a little bit different like we do no good and evil and our body adjusts to it accordingly like you'll have something like you know a robbery mm -hmm. some people go hysterical and some people still themselves mm -hmm. right and, and fight back and fight back so that's kind of what this movie is this movie is it's the exorcism of god if I had to say a play on words was, do you choose the God or the devil's leadership? Like, you know, the devil and the angel on your shoulder mm -hmm. during times, during certain times of your when life. Stuff hard, when, yeah, when stuff gets hard and uh, it, it, there's one part, shout out to Jeffrey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> From uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Fresh Prince of bel -Air. And, uh, That's what made us watch it. Yeah. So as he opened the door, we're like, oh, we got to watch it. We have to watch it. And there's parts in the movie where... <laughs> He curses and he drinks. But his soul was already sold. Yeah, that, that was the thing we weren't catching. That. Yeah, like, we didn't why is know. He so unorthodox. Yeah, he's unorthodox, and you would think a normal human being would think, oh, he's just being cool and human, and he's uh, playing this portrayal as you can still trust in me. I'm willing to speak the language of you know you, and mm -hmm. you don't have to have the same discipline as me. And I understand, but no, 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 no. Yeah, you, we get it. Yeah, you. Uh, what his character showed me was there has to be a separation mm -hmm. because you're not supposed to be drinking and smoking and cursing and I, I mean he killed somebody guys like he literally yeah. shanked someone when, when he shanked somebody I was like oh yeah wow. and he did it in the robes so now it's like Does now it's like this sheep anything? yeah right it's like now there's a sheep in wolf's clothing or is there a wolf in sheep's clothing it's like it was well 
written for a person that's a conspiracy <laughs> there is yeah. a religion buff a religious historian mm -hmm. you know people that have those questions that are taboo because you're going to get something that's been taught to you taught to your parents taught to your lineage mm -hmm. um these are things that in your heart of hearts some don't feel right but mm -hmm. you don't want to speak it out loud because it's you know massively looked at as disrespectful in a sense so this was it was a lot going on. It was a lot. We have. I feel like we have to watch it again now that we already anticipated all the th scenes. But this is one of the first horror movies. Halfway through, I was no longer scared. I was intrigued in the movie. Yeah, I wanted to see what they were trying to say. Yeah, even when people were jumping out and scaring us, or it was a scary physical scene, like with the demons and stuff. It. I was so into the movie, I didn't even flinch anymore. Like half the time, yeah, like you want to know. Okay, what does that mean? Yeah, like 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 certain things, like the wooden lady that was moving around. Yes. Like, what is what, what would that mean? Now, if we were really religious, we would have knew who she represented. Like I said, yeah. one of them was like Saint Nick. Yeah, Saint all, so Nick. which one was she? Was um, she? I think I feel like she Mary? was Virgin. Yeah, she might have been Virgin Mary. Yeah. Um, then it was Ava Maria. You I know, don't know who that is. That's a. I know that was a song that was playing. So there was a lot. There's a. We're not uh, versed. In yeah, you got to study. You got to know Catholic and Christian religion, because they're—I don't want to say they're synonymous, but they have both. Yeah, my understanding, you know, Catholic is first, then there's a denomination of Catholicism, yeah. and then there's Christian and Lutheran. And yeah, Lutheran. so we would. This was definitely Catholic centric. Yeah. Um, but yeah, because they're in everybody in Central America is Catholic. So. Yes. So mm -hmm. and the oh another thing is this movie. Half of the movie is in Spanish, and there is no. They didn't translate. They it did on not purpose. translate on purpose. So, uh, all the Spanish speaking people, <laughs> y'all gonna have to. <laughs> you're definitely gonna have to. I mean, they didn't even do the closed captions during the portion of the Spanish speaking parts. So, you know, I usually when we're watching something, if someone speaks another language, the screen will automatically translate it, right? Like the movie will translate it. So we can still follow along, follow along with the story. That was not the case here. If you do not speak Spanish, there was no indication, nothing indicative of you understanding what that part of the script was saying. Uh, we try to put the closed caption on English, Spanish, and nothing happened. They just for this particular movie, there is no translation. Follow along, bounce, you know, bouncing ball, follow along what they were saying at all. So halfway in this movie. We got lost because there was a lot of dialogue with Spanish speaking, and we don't speak Spanish, unfortunately. So that's that part. Um, yeah, it was it was hard to watch. It was a hard to watch. You guys are going to get into it um, and understanding one of the most you know sinful things you can do, of course, as a priest or a nun, is to have sexual relation. Um, but it was more of a sexual abuse situation, and you guys will see that and get we into can't it. Tell you exactly yeah, how we don't want to indulge but into it, but it, uh, it, it was dope, man. Definitely, I say it's definitely worth a watch. Check it out and uh, expect more, like more of a movie. Hickam Jigs, we're about to do another one real quick, yeah, because this is our movie. Maybe something, today. A little, something a little lighter. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see what's okay. going on. Like, we'll see what's going on because I feel like the, the horror movies are the ones that invoke the emotion to want to review it true if you watch something lighthearted you're just like oh it's funny all right well, we're, like, we're gonna like maybe we'll take a breather and then hop into it because that that was a lot i will look into it we'll i feel like we it. should go to church tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> okay we'll, we'll look yeah. we'll, like i said again we'll look into it we'll look into it thank y'all for coming through don't do drugs be happy